one, so today I've got my January favourites for you all. Since it's the new year, I've decided that I want to try and do a favourites video every single month because I haven't done that before, I've just kind of done them whenever I feel like it, but I really want to kind of do them every single month because it would be nice to see how my favourites change and things like that. But I haven't really got too many things to show you today, but everything that I want to show you I really love and I feel like they need to be talked about, so let's just get into it. The first thing that I have to talk to you guys about is a tan, and I've used all sorts of tans and I like them all for different reasons, but this one you guys actually recommended to me and I've only recently started using and I've been absolutely loving for a number of reasons and it's the Rimmel Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse and I've got it in the shade medium to matte but to be honest I kind of want the dark one because I feel like this would look nice even darker. It's faded all off me now but honestly it's faded really really nicely. I can't see any patchiness. I haven't even exfoliated it off or anything like that yet so I'm really impressed but I must say what they say on the bottle is very true. It is lightweight, it does dry off within two minutes and it's streak free and it has no fake tan smell and that's what I love I hate when fake tans have fake tan smell and you just kind of feel gross especially when it's hot so this one has been really nice for me in the summer and do you know what else it does it develops in one hour and lasts for seven days so yes that has been so good for me because often I can't be bothered to wait around for like a few hours or some of them even are six hours with tan on just for it to develop so one hour is perfect for me it also says on the back which I think is really cool that it lasts up to three weeks with repeated applications in brackets application once a week for three weeks so I don't know if you have to exfoliate or not but I have actually had the tan on for one week and then reapplied it without exfoliating after that and it worked perfectly fine but maybe I can try it for a third time and see if it will work or if I'll get unlucky and it will cling to all the dry spots on my body but yeah I've been really liking this guys and it's also really affordable the next thing that I've been loving are my Nike rushes and they just look like this I'm sure you all know what Nikes look like but the reason that I've been loving these is because I've been wearing them out in public a lot because they kind of go with a lot of outfits and they're quite fast fashionable and I really needed to find some shoes like this because I need to get into the habit of wearing my orthotics because my knees turn inwards and my feet turn inwards so my orthotics kind of help counteract that but I'm really bad at wearing my orthotics in the summer because obviously I wear thongs and sandals not those kind of thongs flip-flops that's what I mean <laughs> but these have been really encouraging me to wear them let me know actually if you guys have orthotics what shoes do you wear and what do you find the most supportive for your orthotics because obviously these aren't the most supportive shoes for if you're gonna go running or something but they are kind of fashionable <laughs> and they're easy to wear with an outfit so I've been really enjoying these as for makeup I've been loving the Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel bronzer I talked about this in my everyday makeup routine video and really I can't talk about it enough because it is so nice it bronzes up your face and and I don't know, it's quite expensive, but I've never really used a cream bronzer before and I was really excited to use this and now I'm obsessed and I probably should buy some more cream bronzers. If I find some more affordable versions, I'll let you know. <laughs> Actually, let me know if you know any more affordable versions. Another makeup item that I've been loving is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is just the perfect shade for me. I have it in light to neutral and it's really good coverage, so I recommend going into Mecca or Sephora or I don't know where else you can get it, but checking it out because it's really, really good. I'm not really one to wear a huge amount of jewelry as much as I'd love to but I tend to react to it so you only really see me wearing a necklace or a ring or maybe a bracelet definitely not earrings because my ears always react but this is the necklace that I've been really loving lately and I've been wearing it a lot you may have seen it in my formal oh it's the wrong way around you would have seen it in my formal video my vlog thing it's from forever new and it's really nice I honestly love forever news jewelry and I really like the chain as well because it's quite thick so it sits really nicely and you can also adjust it so you can have higher or lower but yeah I definitely recommend checking out the jewelry in forever new because really really pretty. Now for shampoo I've recently bought my hairdresser's shampoo which she's been recommending for ages to me but I never got around to buying it and it's the Lab 6 Professional Shampoo for blonde hair and it says it's revitalizing. It's one litre so it's huge but it makes you feel like you've just come out the hairdresser obviously because my hairdresser uses this on me and it's just a really really nice purple shampoo. Definitely gets rid of all the brassiness in my hair. Um, she said to me that purple shampoo is probably better because if you use a conditioner a lot of the time people focus it on on the ends and then don't work it up because obviously they don't want it to be greasy and then it obviously fixes up some parts of the hair and not the others but whereas if you use a purple shampoo it's going to spread all over your hair evenly so that means that it'll get rid of the brassiness evenly not just in patches this is a bit of a random thing that I've been loving but I honestly think if you're a youtuber or if you use a lot of technology then you really need one of these and it's a universal charger because when I was in England I actually left this camera's charger there so I was worrying that I wouldn't be able to film for ages but I went into the camera store and I could either get 
one of the same chargers for about $90 or I could get this for $70 and this will charge absolutely everything you can plug it into your car and you can adjust these clips here to fit your charger just by twisting these and that means that it fits all sorts of chargers so for example with this charger so I just adjust it to fit them and then you let go and then you just let it charge so you can do it with batteries or your phone or all sorts of chargers, even my vlogging camera. So if I ever lose anything, I know I've got this here. So I have it for backup. The last thing that I have to show you is a hand luggage bag. And this is so random as well, but I honestly fell in love with this when I knew how much of a difference it made to my traveling experience in comparison to when I used my big rucksack, which actually broke when I was... <laughs> in between flights, which was absolutely horrible because I had to carry around a broken bag and then when I was going through security it was just really awkward, I was like, yeah, it's broken. But when I was in England I actually got this travel bag and it's almost like a mini suitcase so it fits everything really nicely, it's easy to pull everything out and it also has a handle which you can cover up with a zip. So you can pull it along with you so it makes it so much easier than having to carry it around and it also has a handle so you can carry it as well. And I just think the dotted print is really pretty. So this is from Miss K I'm pretty sure. My mum actually bought it for me so I'm not completely positive but I'll link it down below if I've got it wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's Miss K. I'm not sure if that's a brand or if that's a store but... I definitely recommend getting one of these if you guys are going traveling. That is going to be it for my favorites video. I really didn't have that many, but I've been loving all of these things. So let me know what you've been loving. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.